Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav from Automation Step by Step and today we are going to see in a very basic step by step way how to create our first API test with Karate. This is going to be very easy and very interesting so let's get started and step number one is we will first create a feature file under our src test java folder and i will show you exactly how to do this so i will go to my eclipse and this is the project that we have already created and here you can see we have all these folders and packages already created we also added our dependencies in the pom.xml file in our earlier session now you will see there is a folder src test java this is where we can add all our test cases or test files and then all the resources related to our tests we can put in src test resources folder so i will go to src test java now inside this you can do a right click and say new and say file so you can create a new file directly or you can also create a new folder first so i will do a right click new and say folder or a package i will go to folder and say tests so i know all my tests are inside this folder and say finish and now inside this test folder i will again do a right click new file and i will say this is you can name it anything i will say first test and then give a extension dot feature so here say dot f e a t u r e feature because this is going to be our bdd feature file and then you can give any name with the extension dot feature and say finish now at this moment in my case you are seeing that it changes the icon to a cucumber bdd icon for this feature file and it also gives me some sample data here in your case if you do not get this do not worry this is because i have already added a cucumber plugin so that it can recognize the files with dot feature extension if you do not get this you can always go to your help and go to eclipse marketplace and here you can search you may also be getting a option to get the plugins for reading feature files if you do not get this you can go to eclipse marketplace and search for cucumber or feature and search for this cucumber eclipse plugin so you can install this in my case it is already installed when you get it from here and install you will have to restart your eclipse so that it can then start reading your feature files this is exactly step number two you can add cucumber plugin eclipse and then restart eclipse or you can add any plugin that can read our feature files so then you will see that this icon changes whenever you create a feature file and you will also get this uh, sample data but in my case i'm just going to delete all the sample data and we are going to create a test from scratch so now we have got our feature file and now step number three is we will write a scenario in our feature file and this is the bdd syntax we create a feature file and then we say scenario so what is the scenario we are going to test so for now i will just say uh, i'll say sample api tests and then after this uh, this should be a feature so i should be saying this is a feature and then after this i will create scenarios so one feature file can have multiple scenarios so i will say scenario and i will say test a sample get api and now after this i will start creating the actual test and here we will use the keywords given when so this is the gherkin syntax or gherkin language where we say given this is kind of a prerequisites or a precondition when is the action and then is the outcome or the expected condition so here to create a api test let us first get some sample api if you want you can use your own apis i will say sample uh, let me take some sample rest apis for testing and here i have got this website reqres.in i will go here 
and here you can see it says some fake sample rest apis for testing so i can go here and let me check yes we have some sample apis here we have get apis we have uh, post put patch delete etc i will go to this get list user so let me take this one and here this is the url or the endpoint that i will get from here so if i open this in a new tab i will get the complete url which i can copy from here and then i will say given url is so this is how we can use karate this is so simple i do not have to use any coding i will just say given url is this and i should put this in quotes so this is the url when i will say method get because this is going to be a get method now just in case you are completely new to apis and want to understand how do we uh, what are the APIs, what are web services, what are these, all these get post put methods. Again, you can go to my website automationstepbystep.com and here you will find a section on APIs where you can get all the basics just in case you want to get the basics first. So you can see this API web services basics. You can uh, watch these tutorials just in case you are completely new. Then I will say when method is get, I will say then status should be 200 so 200 is the status code for a successful api get api request so i'm just checking that after i run this get api i should get a status that is 200 now i can press ctrl plus on my keyboard to increase the font and you can also now do a right click and say pretty format this will correct the formatting or indentation and this option you will get only after you have added the cucumber plugin and you can just save your project so this is what i have done so this is step number three and uh, you can see a sample here as well we create a feature file then we write feature and give the uh, title of the feature then we can create multiple scenarios and give the title of the scenario and then we use given when then uh, statements and write our test like this so this was step number three and now step number four is we will create a testrunner.java class but before i do that let me just show you this now we have created our test in a btd format i will do a right click and i will say run as cucumber feature and let us see what happens so this is our console and you can see it has ran something and then it says uh, there is a html report present in this project target folder karate reports and there will be a karate summary.html so let me see i will do a right click on the project and first refresh so that i get all the new files and yes i have got this target folder and then here is our karate summary.html let me just open it with uh, the system editor which will be my default browser and yes you can see we get some good report however this shows failure and if i open you can see this is this is a failure here and this is saying some syntax error so here it says this is a syntax error let me check this later now see i am not going to edit out any of these sections from the video where i am getting any issue and i will show you all the issues and how do i troubleshoot so that uh, you also can see this and if you face the same issues you can you will know how to troubleshoot it i can just for checking i can go back to my old project that i created earlier and i can see and compare if there is anything missing so this was my old project and here okay uh it is not is let me just check if given url works it is given url not given url is let me save and check again i will say run as cucumber feature and let us see what happens this time and i will go and refresh my report and yes so that was a mistake that was the syntax error it is not given url is it is given url and then the url and then when method get and then status and here i am getting here uh, okay the issue here is it is saying no step definition uh, found which is fine 
I will create a test runner file and then I will show you how to do this which is step number four we have to create a test runner dot java class under src test java so here I will go to my project again and under my src test java I am going to create a new class and I will name this as test runner and here this is my test runner class and this can be used to run our feature files or our tests and this is what we have to do we have to give a annotation just above the class declaration that is at run with karate dot class so I will say here at run with if I press control spacebar on my keyboard uh, I am getting this at run with and then I will say here karate dot class and as you do this it will also import these run with from junit and this from, from the karate library which is from the com.intuit.karate.junit4 so this is fine now and now I can run this I will do a right click here and say run as junit test and let us see what happens this time so this should run all the tests or the feature files in this project or in this folder and okay so this is done and it has also created a file a report file which is again the same file I can just go and check I will refresh this okay this is the same thing that we have got you can see summary here tags here and everything is here this is zero pass and one failed so this was the failure and here it says it says no step definition method match found for status 200 let me again check this as well if there is any mistake I have done in the syntax okay again there was a mistake it should be status so these are some silly mistakes I do let me now run again so this should work directly as well if I now run as cucumber feature and I will go and check I have this karate summary.html I will say open with system editor and yes you can see now it is one pass and zero failed and I can now check everything is working fine so this is all fine and you when you go to the method get it shows us all the details what is the URL what is the host user agent and then this is how we have we have all our logs here the date the status content type all the headers here and then all the response so this is the actual response that you can get from here and again if I run from the test runner file now the test runner file is useful when you want to run uh, your feature files based on some conditions like you tag your feature files with some tags like smoke test regression test and you want to run a particular tag or you want to run some specific feature files all that you can control using the test runner class so if I do a right click on the test runner class run as junit test and this time as well we should be getting a successful result and you can also see the JUnit results as well here everything is passed if I go back and refresh my report everything is running fine so we are able to run our API test and we are able to get the reports as well I hope this was very useful for you please do some more hands-on and I will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning